Welcome to the Cup of Teach. And today, we're going to discuss real number system. So, ang target natin dito sa video na to is first, we should be able to identify the different types of real numbers. And then, differentiate the different types of real numbers. Pero, ano ba ang real numbers? So, when we say real numbers, it is a number that can be found on the number line. These are the numbers that we normally use and apply in real-life situation. So, I have here a sample of number line. So, everything in this line is considered a real number. So, meron tayong 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then, in between them, may mga numbers pa yan. And we're going to talk about that. So, what are the numbers na makikita natin sa number line? Or yung tinatawag nating real numbers. So, real numbers is divided into two main types. We have the rational numbers or numbers that can be expressed as a fraction. And then, the other one is the irrational numbers. Ito yung mga numbers na hindi po pwedeng i-express as fraction. Under rational numbers, we have the natural numbers. Natural numbers are also known as counting numbers. So, usually when we count, we start at 1. Then, susunda ni 2, ni 3, 4, so on. Next type is the whole numbers. So, whole numbers naman, magsisimula tayo kay 0, 1, then 2, and 3, and so on. Next is we have the integers. So, integers naman is a combination of the number 0 and then the natural numbers. So, from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Parang whole numbers din. Kaso, may kasama siyang iba. Yun yung mga opposite ni natural numbers or the negative numbers. So, example, we have negative 2 which is the opposite of 2. Then, negative 1, which is the opposite of 1. Then, ayan, meron tayong 0, and then 1, 2, 3. Sunod-sunod na yan. So on. Okay, so I have here the real number system diagram. So, as you can see, the whole rectangle here is the real numbers. And then, meron tayong dalawang division dito. So, we have here the irrational numbers or the numbers that cannot be expressed as fraction. And then, yung mas malaki is the rational numbers. So, sa loob ni rational numbers, andito si integers. So, ayan. So, si integers ay combination ni negative numbers, ni zero, at saka ng counting numbers natin or ng ating natural numbers. Sa loob ni integers, andito si whole numbers. Ayan. So, we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. And then, under or sa loob ni whole number, meron tayong natural numbers. And now, let's talk about the different types of integers. The first one is the even numbers. These numbers, nagtatapos sila sa 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. And kapag dinivide mo ito by 2, the remainder will always be 0. Example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on. Next, we have the odd numbers. So, odd numbers naman, nagtatapos naman sila sa 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And kapag dinivide mo sila by 2, there will always be a remainder of 1. Example, numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and so on. Next, the prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers with only two factors. 1 at saka yung sarili niya. Example, we have 2. The factors of 2 are 1 
and 2 only. Yun lang. Kaya siya isang prime number. And then, the other numbers, nagsishare din ng same characteristics as 2. Example, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Lastly, we have the composite numbers. Composite numbers naman are numbers with more than two factors. So, example, we have the number 4. So, 4 has a factor of 2, a 4, and 1. So, there are three factors. And then, yung mga sumunod, which is 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, and so on, they also share the same characteristics. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!